survival teetering on the edge, hearts pounding. Prepare for the most terrifying crocodile encounters of the year. This clip starts us off with a bone-chilling introduction to a crocodile pit. And above that pit, a line walker is performing a stunt that is borderline suicidal. Unsurprisingly enough, the man seems to lose his cool and nearly falls off. That was a close call. But as if that wasn't dangerous enough for him, the man, getting cockier by the second, starts performing stunts. And his arrogance is his downfall, because to everyone's shock and horror, everything that could go wrong, does go wrong. <laughs> that croc had murder on its mind. This performer has his guardian angels to thank. Here we see a crocodile swimming along menacingly, coming for something that isn't really in view yet. The camera then pans to a man trying to draw the crocodile to himself. It seems that we have another case of idiocy on our hands. After dropping a piece of meat into the crocodile's jaws, this man attempts to lure it back again with a bigger piece of meat. Unsurprisingly enough, this fool's arrogance gets the better of him and what happens next will set your heart racing. Oh shit. The man manages to feed the reptile after teasing it, and it leaves. It seems that crocs are allergic to genius, after all. We start off this clip at a crocodile farm in Thailand. The man continues to perform some sort of routine. Presumably, he's trying to get the croc to hold its jaws still. For the most part, the jaw seems to be obeying, and that is exactly what makes the next part jaw-dropping. The crowd is understandably awed, but it is what this trainer does next that truly shows how dangerous that stunt was for him. That is a man with balls of steel. This clip throws us straight into the action with a man attempting to tease a crocodile with a slab of meat. Splash him out of the react. Come on, you can come. Crocodiles, though, don't usually respond well to teasing. And the way this one is snapping at the man is making its anger very, very evident. Come on, Nick. Come on. Yes, come on. Yes. Oh, wow. Come on. It's come on. That looks like one hungry croc. But this man surprises everyone when he showcases his degree of calmness and control of the modern day dinosaur. Now, I'm going to show you what will happen if he gets me on the hand, okay? Watch. You're going to be the meat, watch. Got me. I got my hand back. The man then sits down for some explanations on a scaly couch, I must say. The croc, though, seems to have had enough and makes an attempt to escape. See how much bullshit's out there with work else to say? That's the truth. Oh. <laughs> and he's caught for a while. I get the feeling that the croc is used to that. This video starts off with yet another man dangling a piece of meat in front of a hungry croc. Oh, 
The man feeds the croc with that piece of meat. You would think that's enough croc wrangling for the day, but this man has another go with a second piece of meat with another croc. That seems straightforward enough, at least when it comes to hungry, snappy crocodiles. However, the first crocodile then starts behaving erratically. After leaving the scene with presumably hurt feelings, the first croc watches as the other crocodile is fed more meat. That is one brave and perhaps incredibly foolish man. These men are sitting by a riverbank attempting to get some close-up pictures of crocodiles. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, come on! Don't do it, they attempt to lure the reptiles by flinging pieces of meat dangerously close to the riverbank and in the process dangerously close to their photographer. More and more crocodiles start popping up at the riverbank and the tension finally comes to a head when this spine-tingling incident happens. The man barely escapes the croc's attempt to grab him, and his friend's quick thinking prevents more of the crocs from getting onto the riverbank to chase after the man. Looks like this man will have a hell of a tale to tell. This clip starts off with a crocodile, having spotted something of interest, moving ominously towards this tourist boat. <laughs> These tourists are dangling a piece of meat over the water for this crocodile to get to. Perhaps they underestimate how high these reptiles can jump. They continue to frustrate the croc. Some of the tourists, realizing the weight of potential consequences, move away from the edge of the boat. A wise move considering what happens next. <laughs> Right back the boat is. Right back. <laughs> if that croc had decided to grab a bigger, live piece of meat from the boat instead, this tour would certainly have turned out sour. Fortunately, though, the croc has no interest in that. I suppose flirting with death does make for some good Insta stories. These people are attempting to capture a crocodile with just rope, a bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Though these waters seem dangerous, these locals seem to know what they're doing. This is proven further when, in a move straight out of a Hollywood movie, the man manages to lasso a crocodile charging at his boat. <laughs> the crocodile dives underwater instead, meaning these people once again try to tie its upper jaw with even more rope. The croc, though, shows off its ferocious anger. That is one angry croc, but these people have managed to subdue the beast for the moment. They end up bringing it onto the boat. Those people are fortunate that the crocodile wasn't big enough to drag them all under. 
This clip takes us on a speedboat ride down the Mahakam River, where Eusterine crocodiles dwell. The man at the front of the boat is sleeping peacefully, not realizing he is surrounded by death on all sides. That is when this duo passes by a croc resting on the riverbank. Upon spotting the boat, the reptile makes a rapid charge into the water towards it. However, the boat is unsurprisingly too fast for it. The duo then comes across another curious crocodile, but for the most part, these crocodiles do not seem to be overly aggressive. Looks like the locals have great respect for the kings of the Mahakam River. In this next clip, we find ourselves transported to a very urban setting, the last place you want to meet a murderous reptile. This man has discovered something big in his sewer. When he pans the camera into the sewer, though, what is down there will shock you. I now have an alligator in my sewer. There is a goddamn alligator in the sewer, where it could strike anyone passing by. The reptile then sends the man recording a chilling warning. The man continues to record the alligator, but that is when the clip abruptly ends, so we have no idea what happened to it. I now have an alligator in my sewer. Now that is one hell of a toilet clogger. This clip shows a man standing by the edge of a pond, not knowing something menacing has been watching him. Um, I'm asking you a question. The danger makes its presence known by raising its head out of the water and moving toward the unsuspecting man. Look, here he comes. The man manages to spot the gator, but he's not out of trouble yet. These things are fast, even on the ground. So what happens next is gut-wrenching. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, that is exactly where the clip ends. So we have no idea what happened to the man. These people are out in the Floridian Everglades, fishing for alligator gar. However, they're about to catch something bigger. Oh, he's cute. She sniffing him? Mm-hmm. Just like me. Babe, come. The family has set the bait and keeps wondering where the gars have gone. They know that there could be some gators here, but they just don't see any around. They're falling. Gators? The woman recording is dangerously close to the edge, and she wonders where all the gators have gone. Little does she know, her wildest death wish is on the verge of being granted. Where'd he go? He said, that's plastic. The gator car was sniffing. Nobody saw that gator until it chose to rise to the surface. The woman and her family are understandably terrified that a gator was hiding in plain sight. Guys, I'm not kidding, I shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Needless to say, that was a close call. This man has found himself a wee crocodile while going about his business in a lagoon in Cancun. Found a wee crocodile. The man attempts to get closer to the beast, as if crocodiles don't have the reputation for snapping limbs off of anything that gets into their range. This man seems to be safe, though. 
and the crocodile doesn't seem to be minding the man fanboying over him. Now that's a chill croc right there. This clip puts us in prime view of an epic showdown between a fisherman who's caught some baromundi and a crocodile that wants his catch. See, down that way, it's run about 40 k's to, to open sea. It's the fisherman begins to reel his catch in, but that's when everyone spots a croc moving slowly but intensely toward the man. So naturally, the fisherman begins to speed the process up, trying to reel the fish in as fast as possible. Does he succeed, or does the croc get to it? Watch and find out. <laughs> All in a day's work for this fisherman, I suppose. This man is out kayaking on a river when he spots something straight out of a horror movie. And that is what I fish with. A gator lining up its next meal is slowly moving toward the man in the kayak. The man can't exactly get away anywhere fast either. For my guys, <clears throat> on the fly fishing forums. But as the man sits still, the gator decides not to have human for the day. That is one lucky man right there. Gator's head is bigger than my arm. He's probably a good six feet, seven feet easy. He's bigger than me. That was a huge gator. The man's got to thank his guardian angels after this. This couple's playful lab decides to take a swim in the one place you should never go swimming, a gator's lair. Oh shit, that's a gator. The dog goes deep into the water before his owner realizes that there is a gator headed straight for him. Panic ensues. Oh shit, that's a gator. Rasta, come here! Oh, no! The dog manages to recognize the panic in his owner's voice, but does it make it back in time? Come here! No, come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! The dog is safe, and his owner sure as hell won't be letting it out of sight anytime soon after this. This, right here, is a huge saltwater crocodile and a tour boat that has had the misfortune of stumbling across it. The croc's size aside, this thing is simply not moving away from the boat. It seems hungry. And what it does next shocks many on the boat. The tourists then proceed to have some fun trying to feed the crocodile. I wonder what would have happened had the crocodile decided to have fun. Back on. These people are fortunate that the crocodile didn't decide to go for a human buffet. These two kayakers are trying to get their buddy's kayak back from under the nose of a crocodile. But as with every clip in this video, things don't go to plan. The croc thinks these two have come too far into its territory and jumps into action. Oh my God. Oh, the two kayakers turn tail and paddle like there's no tomorrow, constantly looking back to check if the croc is still in pursuit. The duo is in the clear after it seems that the crocodile didn't want to follow the two after all. I find it incredibly cute though that they thought they could move faster than a croc in water. The humans took its habitat, 
So this gator has decided to reclaim what is his. Just look at the size of this thing. Even the deer watching in the distance can't help but watch the reptile royalty strut its way across the golf course. Needless to say, this game of golf will be taking a short break. The gator, ignoring all the people and animals gawking at it, continues to slowly stomp its way across the course. Looks like this king has no time for his subjects. These incredibly smart parents are letting their fledgling children enter the habitat of a freshwater crocodile. That lily pad just moved. Oh, yeah. Unsurprisingly enough, a few minutes later, a freshwater crocodile does show up, mere feet from where the child had been. These model parents then proceed to let their children lean over the edge and let them get a real close look at the crocodile. Maybe everyone shouldn't be allowed to have kids. This man is trying to feed a giant crocodile. It seems a lot of people on this list just have a very different idea of fun than a normal person. This crocodile, though, doesn't seem to be as interested in the piece of meat the man is holding as it is in the man himself. The croc proceeds to snap at the meat the man is holding, and that's exactly when things start going very wrong for the man. Still, it seems the croc takes pity on the man and lets him go. He lives to be foolish another day. You might be wondering, why is this man underwater? Well, sometimes the truth is much harder to look at. A gator has dragged in this man's three-month-old puppy. The old man, without a second thought, jumped into action trying to wrestle his pet from the gator's jaws. The puppy's life is on a knife's edge, perhaps literally. Still, this man continues to use all his strength to pry the reptile's maw open. Now that is what I call a heroic rescue. Imagine peering over the edge of a river and seeing a giant saltwater crocodile just lying in wait for something, something that might fall in. The croc seems to be attracted by something and it moves to get a better view. A hat, in particular, seems to have piqued its curiosity. How big is he? The croc goes absolutely still, lulling these people into a false sense of security. So everyone is absolutely shocked at what happens next. That was good. Fortunately for these people, they're in a pretty safe place, so the croc shouldn't be a problem for them, unless they fall off. This man is out fishing when he feels something tug on his line. He seems to have caught a fish, one that he is desperately trying to reel in for some reason. Daniel on a donkey. 
Just keep pressure, keep pressure. This duo was trying to get their fish back frantically, constantly panning the camera around to keep an eye out for something that might lunge out of the water. Just keep the pressure on. Yep. When you get it up, you just gotta run. That is when these two spot a shape in the water moving towards them. What happens next will terrify you. Run back, bro. Run back. Oh, run, bro. Run, 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 run. Run, Daniel, run, run. The two, forgetting all about the fish, turn tail and run for their lives. Unsurprisingly, the fish they were trying to catch is the least of their worries right now. Run, bro. Oh, no, he's got it. Pressure on. Keep the pressure. No. No, it's so big. The crocodile gives up the chase after getting the fish it wanted, unfortunately and fortunately for these two. These people are going down a river when they spot a horrifying shape keeping up with them. Saltwater crocodiles can swim at 24 to 29 kilometers per hour, three times faster than the fastest human swimmers in the world. These things can move. Just look at the majestic way that the croc moves. These people are witnessing the beauty of nature. And they should be thankful they didn't have to bear witness to its skull-crushing force. This group of tourists has spotted something ominous in the water surrounding them, and they are trying to keep it away. You can sense the fear in their voices and body language. It would not take a lot of effort from the croc to rip through the boat and drag everyone under. It does not take a lot of time to attack. These people barely ward off the giant croc, with the reptile realizing it can also be hurt back. The men, unsurprisingly, celebrate. It's a big cut. Whoa, fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> nice. Dude. Fucking hell. Nice one, man. I wish I'd hit him harder, man. Who wouldn't after having a near-death experience? The video commences with a remarkably foolish incident. A family leisurely floating on inflatable rafts in a river infested with alligators. Predictably, the situation quickly transforms into a horrifying ordeal for the children as they realize they are in alarmingly close proximity to a bone-crushing alligator. Their father, presumably, also manages to make an impressively perceptive observation. Oh my god! Oh, it's an alligator, guys. The alligator swims away, leaving the children on the rafts in a state of panic. Unfortunately, it takes the frightened cries of the man's daughter to finally spur him into action and move to a safer location. The children display visible distress, which is hardly surprising given the circumstances. Eventually, however, the family manages to swim away to safety. This man is banging his stick on the ground, trying to get the attention of a saltwater croc. Amazing, that little brain's in tune for that splash. That splash is where the animal's having the drink, that's where he... The way the croc makes its entry is straight out of a Hollywood movie, its scales rising out of the water before it makes its whole visage visible. The man seems to be experienced, but even he isn't completely prepared for what the hungry reptile does next. Oh. 
the crocodile lunges at the man, and the man barely manages to get away. After that, the feeder continues to tease the croc and flirt with death. You must go. No mishaps this time around, though. This man is trying to get the attention of a saltwater crocodile. The crocodile makes its presence known in spectacular fashion. The way these beasts can camouflage themselves until the final moment is nothing short of incredible. <laughs> This man, however, is interested in trying to pet the croc on the snout. Needless to say, the croc doesn't appreciate that. The man keeps trying, though, and nearly gets his hand taken off in the process. That is one patient crocodile. These people are trying to get their boat through alligator-infested waters. The atmosphere is understandably tense, and the crocs on each side are watching these two men intensely. Bunch of crocs. For the longest time, everything seems to be deathly calm. And then the crocs explode into action. Oh God, Pete, your pedal's too close to that one. <laughs> Fortunately for these two, the gator's fight or flight response chooses flight. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out some of the other ones on our channel. Thanks for watching.